Oh, shit. Has he been there all along? Oh, he did move. Oh, that's creepy as hell. He didn't move that time. I'm... I think he did, right? I, I mean, I'll have to go... What the f*** is going on? <laughs> What's that guy right there? Welcome back, everybody, to Pacific Drive. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to continue uh, in this awesome game. Uh, before we get started, though, if you find yourself enjoying this video, please take a moment to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you already have subscribed. Thank you very much. Greatly appreciate it. And uh, let's get rolling here. Uh, so I spent a little bit of time off camera, not a ton, but uh, maybe an hour or so um, just going out and doing some scavenging. But, you know, the thing is, is, is weird stuff is was and is happening including some extra conversations and things like that so i don't know maybe at least in the early game doing a whole lot of off-camera stuff might not be a good idea um just because you know i don't want you guys to be missing story stuff and interesting things that are happening uh one thing that did happen is i i found some paint stuff that the game told me to put into this uh on this paint rack and uh i also found a bumper sticker and it says, bring the cosmetic items back to the garage to equip them. Um, the bumper sticker's right here. So, let's see if this is something... I th Wait a minute. Is that a bumper sticker? That looks like a book. Hold on a sec. It says, can I pet your dog sticker? It says it's a sticker. Put in detailing station to equip. Detailing station. I don't even know what that is. Um, is that this thing? No, not that. This is a jukebox, which I'm not going to turn on for copyright reasons. <laughs> I've heard that some of the music in this game is copyrighted, so well, that's all turned off. Yeah, I don't even know what the detailing station is or where it is. So I guess we'll just hang on to this for now and until and unless that becomes obvious later on. Let's put this back in here. Um, let's see what else I, um, I, I have a, a broken headlight that I wasn't able to repair. Uh, so I just removed it and made a new one. I think I'm missing something uh, for that. So that happened. And what else? The, I was going to say a couple more things. Oh yeah. I've been working on, uh, side racks and storage. So that, that was mostly what my focus was. I also made a little seat rack here that I can put, I guess, more storage on later on when, you know, when we can make it. Uh, so we have definitely added storage to the car. And that's pretty much it. I haven't done anything else really that I can think of, you know, to modify the car itself yet. Um, this thing did become available. This is called the Tinker Station. And it's like a diagnostic thingy um, where you tell it, you know, I want information about the car, and it the car crashes, um, and maybe the headlight gets broken, <laughs> and it flickers. Submit diagnosis. You have eight guesses remaining. I, di I, di I didn't mess with this because I wanted to show this to you guys on camera, so I'm not even exactly sure. Submit, submit diagnosis. Press Y. Uh, I'm pressing Y and it's not doing anything. Do I just press spacebar? Incorrect diagnosis. A bad guess. Ah, uh, okay. I, what? What? Yeah, I'm not even sure how to use this. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it'll become apparent to us later. Um, okay. So, let's see here. I think. I don't think. Oh, yeah. Okay, you do have a few more things for us. What is this? Oh, that's fabric. Okay. Yeah, and uh, we actually needed fabric for... Uh, these things respawn all the time, too, which is fine with me. I mean, it's just extra electronics and stuff. 
but um, it's a little bit weird because if I if I salvage this car and then um, you know save the game and come back, the car still remains salvaged. But these seem to to repop over here, and sometimes the dumpster repops too. So anyway, oh, I got a, a thingy down here. Okay, so let's um let's put this stuff away. Uh, before we take off for our next adventure here, we have a lot of stuff going on. Um, put that in there. I've got an extra... Here, let's put the, the more broken one in there for now. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, uh, I want to I bring, especially since we have more storage now... We have some a couple extra things of putty. We've got a I I, bu I built a fresh hand vac. We got some food items which we use for for healing. Um, I want to I want to make a couple of sealant kits. So let's do that. Maybe maybe even um, let's make two of these, and maybe a little more repair putty too. And do I still have the pry bar in my inventory? Okay, I've been using the impact hammer for breaking stuff, um, but there are some things that the pry bar works, and that might not be a bad idea just to, you know, save the durability on our impact hammer. Let's put the, uh, that stuff in there, an extra thing of putty, and we'll keep this with us, and what we could do with that is let's put this on our... Um, number three slot. There we go. Okay, cool. All right, so I think we're ready to to, to head out and uh, go on another adventure here. The car should be completely uh, ready to go. Um, driver's checklist. Visit the friendly dumpster. I just did. Okay. I I don't know why that. Is telling me to do it when I just did it again. <laughs> anyway, uh, everything else is good. The car should be fully fueled up. We've recharged the batteries. Um, I don't know why it's not. Oh, there we go. That, there's the fuel. Okay. And yeah, so we should be good to go. Let's go over to our projector here and see what we want to do now. Yeah, so I, I went out and about you know, scavenging stuff, but just weird shit was happening and it's like, you know what? I probably better not do too much of this without the camera rolling because it's just it's all very interesting stuff um okay so basically our main objective right now is to just explore the zone and oh you know what else sorry before we get started with that uh, let's get caught up on our notes too so uh, as usual if you don't want to listen to me read through the notes i'll put a timestamp in the video for you to fast forward to when the action resumes okay so let's start here with our user manual fatigue all car components suffer wear and tear, but this is even more pronounced in the zone. Eventually, almost every component is going to need replacing, and sometimes all you can do with a worn-out part is dispose of it. Now, on that point, um, when I got back from my last trip, which, by the way, I had to cancel. I, I, set, I set it so that I would keep all my stuff because the whole point of going out was just to gather loot. Um, so, and, and then I essentially deliberately failed the mission so I could come back with all my stuff. But then when I did the dumpster it gave me a whole bunch of new fresh panels and doors and so what i did was i ended up just scrapping the really badly damaged doors on the car and used the new ones from the dumpster to put um on the car so it kind of worked out pretty good uh, okay quirks over its lifetime the car can develop quirks ranging from the curious to the supremely annoying something you're doing may be causing something else to happen perhaps even two things perhaps even a chain of things pay close attention to your car you'll have to diagnose what's wrong before you can fix it at the tinker station. Oh, okay, we have one of these. What happens is when I reverse, the hood pops up. <laughs> I mean, every single time. So that's what that, that diagnostic station does. Okay, um, now that we know that, may, let's go back and look at it again here in just a bit. Uh, charting roads in the zone. To make your way through the zone, you must chart the roads for yourself. The route planner displays the junctions currently stable enough for a drive. Uh, be aware some routes will pass through multiple junctions as they take you on your way toward opening a gateway. During each drive, you can scan many unusual things you encounter and fill out your logbook. If you 
Uh, make it back through the gateway. These readings will be uploaded and used to identify hazards and resources along future routes. The junction you return from will also be saved, expanding the areas of the zone that you have access to if the conditions are right. Now, one thing, too, is I've noticed that if I go back to a junction that I've been to before, it's not the same uh, because this is all randomly generated, so it completely changes. And they did say that in the game, that it'll rearrange stuff in the world. Uh, so that, that makes things very interesting. So I can go back to Junction 5, you know, uh, 10 different times, and every time I go there, it's going to be different. Um, okay, car part status. Car parts can gain certain status effects as they experience the trials and travails of travel through the zone. They'll continue to get the job done, but these status effects can quickly add up. So basically, yeah, it's just saying, you know, flats or loose uh, loose parts and that kind of thing. Okay. Uh, resources. Box truck. So I found a box truck that I just took some stuff off of. Let's see what it says. Private field notes. Dr. Everett, date unknown. It never occurred to me that this would be a logistical nightmare. By the end of the decade, operations in the zone involved over 100 scientists, twice that in support staff and technicians, and another 100 staff in engineering disciplines and more than 2,000 military personnel. That last figure is particularly difficult to estimate. Oh, and trucks. Trucks all the time, rattling back and forth, moving gas, moving mechanical equipment, cabling, furniture. I guess we all need sofas, right? I'd have preferred a light rail network, at least more freight. Um, at, yeah, at least more freight, but after those early incidents, it's like everyone is scared to get on any train within 100 miles of this place. Like they're cursed or something. So it's trucks, all day and all night. You know what we brought to the zone? Traffic jams. And now, now we're starting to move everything out again. Downsizing, they call it, or just outright plundering abandoned equipment. So the box truck, by the way, is the thing that I did find um, all of that paint in the back of. Abandoned Squire. Uh, this was a, 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 a particular type of car that um, I actually found some armored panels on uh, that I scanned, and I think that's what made this uh, entry. Transmission Fragment Unknown, Data Unknown. Hi, I'm Gil O'Hallan, and I'm here to tell you why the O'Hallan Squire is the perfect sedan for all your contract needs. O'Hallan has over a decade's experience providing utility vehicles for state and federal needs, and with the Squire, we think we really have outdone ourselves. This affordable, reliable, and easily maintained vehicle boasts excellent handling and performance thanks to its 183 cubic inch straight six engine, four speed transmission, and advanced assisted steering. This is a car that's easy to drive, easy to look after, and is comfortable in the heat of New Mexico as the freezing forests of Wisconsin. Now come with me as I take you on a tour of what will be the government's next and best all-purpose automobile. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, so that gets that caught up. These are anomalies. Electromagnetic squall. There's something strange in the air, um, though it isn't wholly meteorological. Whatever this bizarre atmospheric phenomenon might be, it's certainly going to play havoc with your car's electrical and mechanical systems. So. Yeah, at some one point when I was out, there's just, like I said, all kinds of weird shit happening. <laughs> um, a pacemaker. Most of the time, even the majority of the time, the zone makes a mess of everything. It's pure chaos out there. But sometimes, just sometimes, its eternal rearrangement creates something coherent, even useful. This time around, it looks like those useful things are reconstructions of some of our own equipment and inventions. Build back into something that's actually functional. They look and behave just like several early prototypes from our first limb labs, but at the same time, it's also as if they have been assembled clumsily by a child or by someone trying to understand how this technology works. Someone improvising, someone learning. Here I am, trying first to understand limb tech and then the zone, yet sometimes I wonder if something inside it isn't also trying to learn about us. Okay, yeah, very interesting. Um, this was triggered when I, I found what looked like a whole bunch of electrical transformers that were kind of just globbed together and it was like arcing and stuff. It was really weird. That's why I say here again, I kind of need to, to not do this stuff off camera, at least in the early game. Um, okay, so let's see. Disruptive discharge. Electrical discharge detected in this part of the zone can damage and disrupt batteries. Okay, we got to be careful of that. The Warrens uh, was a zone that I went into that was all kind of red and weird looking, and I did a little bit of um, scavenging there. Bunny anomalies run rampant in this part of the zone. So the, so the bunnies are kind of like these little... I don't know, weird, spiky looking things. And they are, uh, they're not nice. Uh, I'm sure we'll be running into them again. Okay, we got a thermosap crystal. I got that from something. The tolerance this artificially grown crystalline substance has for extreme temperatures and sustained stress is extraordinary. It suggests all manner of mechanical applications. An MRE, this is just basically a bigger food um, uh, thing. A meal ready to eat is, 
is complete self-contained unit of food allegedly equivalent to a reasonable dinner. It certainly contains nutrients and may even feature distinct discernible flavor. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see here. We've got car maintenance, electrician's kit. So we came across one of those at some point. Um, this is a meter and analysis tool, but it didn't work on the headlight because I, I tried it on there. But I'm sure we'll figure out its use at some point later on. And then let's see what else. We've got um, it's here we go. Utilities. Seat rack. If nobody's gonna be using those back seats, you may as well mount something there. This will serve as a solid enough base. So yeah, I, I I built the rack itself. I'm not exactly sure what we put on it, but it'll probably be storage, I'm guessing. Okay, so that gets caught up on that. Uh, braking. The end is nigh. This is so badly damaged that it's on the verge of coming apart. It needs either immediate repair or scrapping. Okay, yeah, so that, oh, break, okay, braking, like as in it's broken, not braking as in the car is stopping braking. That's what, right, okay. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, we got smashed. Okay, that's the, the light bulb cracked. We already know what that is. I don't know why that showed up again. Um, fragile. This won't last much longer. Even the toughest components cannot be repaired indefinitely. Sometimes things just get old and they wear out. Okay. So these are just like status effects. Uh, let's see. This is auto shop stuff. Tinker station. If your car ain't broke, don't fix it. But it, if it is malfunctioning and in some unusual way, this will help you understand. Okay. We're going to mess with that in just a little bit. Status monitor, a big screen version of the car's current status. How's that high res looking? I, I don't know why that's coming up because we've already know that stuff. Okay, this is detailing, so stickers. Can I pet your dog sticker? What a fine looking pupper. Store and equip at a detailing station. So I guess that will become um, apparent to us later. Decals, decal wood panel. Oh, this is like a vinyl thing that we would put on the car. Store and equip at a detailing station. So yeah, here again, we need a detailing station before we can do any of this stuff. And painting, uh, black paint. Uh, well, okay, is the... Is that paint shelf also the detailing station? So we just got black, white, and paint stripper. Okay, we'll have to... Let's, I'll, I'll re-look at that. Um, transmissions, legends. I, I don't know if we... I don't know if we listened to part three, so let's listen to it again right now, because that, that's all we have left. I wonder if you're already feeling the remnants effects, driver. Have you been fixating on the car, maybe? If only we knew where remnants came from, then we'd have a place to start on how to help you. This is no typical anomaly. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. The anomalies we know, they're creepy, crawly, and weird, like v visible manifestations. The remnants were the only ones that wormed its way into your brain. There's something much, much more. Okay, so, I, I, like I said, I can't remember if I had played that earlier. Now, this this says paint shelf. It does not say detailing station, but does it let me put it in here? Warning, this is not paint. Okay, yeah, so this is definitely not the detailing station. Just wanted to confirm that. Okay, so what we're going to do is... Um... Here, well, let me let me actually show you, <laughs> first of all. <laughs> so we get in the car, and see, as soon as I back up, the hood pops open. It's just really weird. And then as soon as I st oh, stop and go forward. Okay, so now you've seen it. <laughs> you know I'm not going crazy. Okay. Let's go over here. All right, so what seems to be the problem? Um, so we want to go hood is opened. Uh, 
tire wiper shifter maybe because it happens when we go backwards shifter toggles that's not precisely what's going on submit diagnosis you have seven guesses remaining Incorrect diagnosis. Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay, so. An ability? Maybe? Activates? Dashboard. Every car door, any car door. Hood is opened. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think... Okay, let's let's start over again. Is there anything here about reversing? Fuel shifter. Toggles is in drive. Shifts to drive is in park. Shifts to park. Hmm. I don't... I don't know. That doesn't feel like what we're after here. Does it say anything about direction? An ability is activated. I don't think opening the hood would be considered an ability. Car. Car moves backwards. Okay. Okay. Car moves backwards. Um. And then hood opens. There we go. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha Nice. Okay. Fixes. Press E. Uh, here's what you'll need to fix this. A mechanics kit. Okay. Um, cool. Q. Diagnosis. E. Fixes. Select. When I hit select, it says missing ingredients. Car moves. Backward hood opens. Okay, so let's let's get out of here. Um, can I make a mechanics kit? Yes. Okay. Now, um, I guess I use it on the hood, right? Okay, where do I take a bring cause? Use the fix screen at the tinker station to remove quirks. Use the fi okay, so I we did that, but how do I apply it to the car? That's the thing I'm not getting here now. Just with R. No, that. I took the damn thing off. Um, equipped it. Here. That's not helping. Okay. Um, use the fix screen at the tinker station to remove quirks. So maybe I have to have it in my hand. Uh, car. Moves backwards. Hood opens. Okay. Since it's already diagnosed, so if we go to fixes, select. Fix oh, okay. So you have to have it in your hand. Gotcha. Okay. Fix quirk, yes. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> I got a, a, um, an achievement that says Car Whisperer. <laughs> okay. Let's test it. Hey, look at that. The hood stays open. All right. Or closed, rather. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I love this game, you guys. It's just so fun. Okay. 
All right, so we're done screwing around with that now. Um, I'm I'm not sure if there if we have other weird quirks going on with the car, but I'm sure they'll become obvious to us when if and when the time comes. Um, let's just look at one more th quick thing before we take off. If we go here, um, and go to here. Yeah, I'm missing. I need more limb energy to continue to make the rest of these racks. I have everything else. I, I want to get all the racks made first, and then that, then we can start focusing on, uh, you know, the the storage. But we need it, it, to get the better storage. We're going to need um, to find unstable energy, which I haven't, you know, obviously come across yet. Uh, while we're here, I did look through some of this stuff. There's a lot of cool things in here. Um, so this is, what is this? A matter deconstructor. So we could make this, we just, but again, we're, we're just short on... Oh no, we have enough energy. We just need gears. So I think what this does is a lot like a recycler thingamadoodle. Oh, that's the detailing station there. Okay, I gotcha. Yeah, so we just have to research that stuff. All right, so we could do this. Um, I'd really like to upgrade uh, my tools. Like, one of these is a flashlight, I think. Uh, no, these are survival tools. Uh, so you get, like, torches and, you know, you need unstable energy for this upgraded plasma scrapper. There's also the upgraded vacuum cleaner, upgraded impact hammer. Um, and then... Yeah, so these are like blow torches. That's the electrician's kit there. But I, I, it'd be nice to get a flashlight. So this is the flashlight here. Uh, right? Yeah, relight. No. Wait, relightable flare. I don't want... Wait a second. What? I want a flashlight. That's the flashlight there, the crude flashlight. But this is a prerequisite to it. Okay, so let's... Let's go ahead and learn that. I mean, I guess having a relightable flare is better than no light at all, right? Um, and then now we're going to need unstable energy for those things. We could make a better headlight. Um, I don't know. I think the only thing that makes this better is its durability. See, the, the crude one has a health of 35. This one has a health of 50. Um, uses the same amount of power. They, they might be brighter, too. 55 watts of light dead ahead. This looks stolen. It's not stolen. It's just borrowed. You're going to give it back, right? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, maybe better headlights is a good idea. Sure. Oops. Okay. Anything else? We're, uh, we have 0.5 thingies of energy left. So that's going to be kind of our stopping point. But I think, <clears throat> you know, I think one of the things that you want to do in this game is you really want to focus on getting all of this stuff, but you can only do so, so much before you then have to go back out and get, you know, more power to continue. Oh, yeah, that's right. We need to upgrade our car panels. Uh, so steel would be the next thing. And then there's armored and then there's Olympium. So getting uh, upgraded to steel would be good. And we can actually do steel panels now uh, or steel doors. And what is this? That's the bumper. Yeah, let's learn the, I guess, the door first. And I think, I like how they do that. That's fun. Uh, I think that's probably all we're going to be able to do. Just because, again, we're, we're out of energy. So we're going to have to go out and collect energy. Okay, cool. So we made a couple of new things here. Um, we can do a relightable flare. This may not be the best improvised flashlight the world has ever seen, nor is it likely to meet even the most lenient safety standards. It may even singe your eyebrows. It does kind of work, though. Okay, so let's make one of those. And I guess because it's relightable, it means it's... Okay, it still probably ha it looks like it has a durability. Um, now, can we make the 
the steel door. This is a huge. Uh, this is the type of sturdy, dependable steel door that your grandfather would pat with a trusting smile. Go on, go ahead, and do the same. Say something affirming about solid craftsmanship too. Okay, so we need a total of five doors, and look at that. We have five steel sheets. Of course, we could probably make more of those. Uh, so let's go one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> okay, we'll have to pick those up later. I don't think they disappear. Okay, so can we... Oh, okay. It doesn't look like we can swap those, so I think we're going to have to scrap... Uh, no, we don't have to scrap them. Okay. See, now this is where it would be good to have a recycler. Because then we could just, you know, because we'll, we'll never use those again. We have no reason to. Well, I guess unless we needed to replace the door and I didn't have enough materials to make another steel one, but. Let's take all these off. That's already a steel door. Oh, shit. Okay, so we made an extra one we didn't need to, but whatever. Um, and then let's also take this off. Okay, now we'll pick this up. This is so fun, man. <laughs> I love this game. It's just amazing. Okay, um, now let's look at something else here real quick. If we, um, yeah, we just, we just need, we're, we got to go out and get more stuff, uh, more energy. That's all there is to it. The steel panel, yeah, we're, we're short on fabric to make that. Okay, so we'll do the panel next, then we'll do the bumper. What is this? This is an armored door. An insulated door. Armored door. Lead plated door. I did find some lead. That'll help with radiation, I guess. Okay, cool. This is just neat. But obviously we've got to get out and about now and, and do stuff. Um I think uh well here, let's I don't want to lose this. So uh, let's just store that in there for the knots. Um I'm just gonna leave these here because um i want to see if they will stay there i think they will and that way we can wait till we build the recycler thingamadoodle the the matter deconverter whatever it is and then recycle them now i know i could also just use this to re recycle them too but i want to like i said i want to see if they'll stick around um just to see if they'll stick around right so okay i think uh, we're ready to go now let's go back to here uh, that was a huge uh, <laughs> rabbit trail, but it was an important one. Um, okay, so I guess there's no specific place we should go. We just It just wants us to um, go out, right? It just says take another drive, right? And I guess we can't bring the cosmetic items back to the garage until we get a um, uh, one of those uh, detailing stations, which we have to research. So we can't really do anything about that there. So... All right, it's up to us to choose where to, where we'll go. Um, I did go up to this bunny zone and to this zone, but again, it's it's kind of a moot point because every time we go there, it's going to be different anyways. Um, so why don't we actually go to the west this time and just kind of check that out. So this is, is perpetual stability. It looks like it's got a decent amount of cars and buildings for us to loot. And so let's do it. Off we go. I also, you know, once we get the panels upgraded on the car, I want to probably start focusing on getting better tires. Because this car doesn't do good off-road, you know, and it's, especially if you get, like, on a hill or something.
back roads remote damp forest outer zone. Okay. Uh, we have three power thingies. Uh, so we'll be going after those for sure. Maybe let's actually do that first. Let's go up to this one here. And we can also loot that house uh, too while we're at it. Oh, I gotta be in here. So we're pretty much just gonna stay on the road to get up there. Hopefully nothing real crazy happens between there and here. But yeah, this... Just the weirdest shit will just all of a sudden happen in this, <laughs> in this game. Like that, for example. <coughs> oh, you know what we... <coughs> you know what we can do, actually? Now that I think about it. Is... I think we can try and scan that thing and see what the hell it is. And we have some cars here too that uh, we might as well hit. No scan target? It's a can opener. Oh, <laughs> can opener, huh? Okay. So we got a log entry for that. Um, let's take a quick look at that. Can opener. Transmission fragment unknown, data unknown. Can anybody hear us? We're still inside the cabin. One of those things is tearing up the ground outside and it doesn't stop. It went through Baxter-like, like when you walk through tall grass, like he wasn't there. Oh God. Come in. Come in, Control. Can you hear us? You have to understand. They escaped containment. The anomalies escaped. They escaped. They all escaped. They all escaped! Okay, so it's called a... I can't open it right. Okay. Um, we already... I think we already read information on the panels. Yeah, okay. We already looked at that stuff. Um, wait. Why is it not letting me get out of this menu? Uh... I seem to be stuck in the menu for some reason. There we go. That was weird. Okay. Um, I'm going to start scrapping these cars. Uh, moving forward, I'm not going to show a, a whole lot of basic scrapping. Um, just because, you know, again, you've seen it all, right? Uh, so I'll see you guys in just a bit here. Okay. So we have scrapped all the cars in this immediate vicinity. Had to make a new scrapper. And let's continue on. It's getting a little bit foggy out, which is very realistic for the Olympic Peninsula. Lots of fog. Lots of fog there, for sure. Okay, let's take a look at our map here for a minute. Oh, shit. We got uh, a storm coming through. Damn it. Uh, oh, no, it's not... Okay, no, it's moving. It's moving to the east. It's not coming after us. Uh, so we want to stay left. Hopefully, it continues going in that direction. Okay. Yeah, we want to stay out of that stuff for sure. It's all kinds of problems that develop when you get in those storms. <clears throat> Let's stop here for a second. I think this might be one of those, um... Making sure that storm keeps going the, uh, to the east. I think this is one of those, um... Government cars we were re- Yeah, the Squire. So, yeah, this is what it looks like. And this is an armored panel, which we've already scanned. And we'll be making later on. Oh, that's where we get that thermosap crystal from, too. I just looted one of those. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> where did that stuff come from? Oh, we got mannequin guys over there. Uh, armored door. Okay. Oh shit. Has he been there all along? 
I, I think I'm just all of a sudden, you know, seeing uh, the ghost around the corner when maybe it's not there. Or maybe it is in this game. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Oh, he did move. Oh, that's creepy as hell. I got, I got chills, guys. I literally have chills going down my spine right now. He was... I, he was standing right here. <laughs> he did move. Okay. Uh, let's open this up. Talk about seeing the ghost in the corner. Well, that's because the ghost is in the corner. He didn't move that time. I think he did, right? I, I mean, I'll have to go. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> What's that guy right there? I'm, <clears throat> I'm going to have to go back and look at the footage later. But I could have sworn. I don't know, man. I, I'm. Let's go. <laughs> let's get the hell out of here. This is creeping me out. Blitz is creeping me out. I do not like those mannequins. Okay, we have another car here. I mean, I could have been imagining all that, I guess. It's the thing is is I'm not a hundred percent certain that the that they shifted. Yeah, I don't know. The only way I'll be able to tell is what, when I go back and look at the footage, which of course I'm not going to do right now. Okay, let's get this guy scrapped. Okay, so we are right near the limb, uh, or the anchor, anchor power thingy. Um, and we also have a house there. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't look to see where that's what that storm was doing. Let's check it again real quick. Oh, it's gone. Okay. It's gone. Okay. Whew. Man, I'm a, I'm a little on edge, and I'm not... I'm not making it up, man. This mannequin just creeps me out. Oh, okay. Let's put you here. We'll stack you there. Um, we've got our light. not an openable door here let's put this um, in slot 4 well that's cool so it's basically a flare with a little reflector I, I wonder if we need normal flares to recharge it I bet we do these boxes bootable and all doesn't look like it okay let's go get our anchor power oh what the hell's going on Okay, um, I don't know what's happening, but we got to get this power. Okay, run. It's chasing us. He wants to eat us. Get rid of this anchor power first because it is we are taking damage from it. Okay, now can we 
scan this anom anomaly. Oh, guess not. Is it doing anything to us? I mean, I'm not taking any damage as far as I can tell. This is bizarre. Yeah, it says no scan target, so I guess we can't scan it. Oh, here we go. Left, right. I guess I just needed to get a little closer to it. All right, let's just look at that really quick. Left, right. Yes, sir, we lost total control, sir, veered off the road and straight into a house full of squatters. Six, sir, it's like something just took control of the truck, control the truck, screwed it all up and sent it every which way. No, sir, only Jackson, who probably has a broken wrist. Everyone else is fine, while all these squatters only seem a little scared. Well, sir, the thing is, we actually think they're foreign. They're dressed kind of strangely. They have hats and flannel shirts. Canadians? But I thought Canada was north of Seattle. Victoria? Who is she? Oh, I see. <laughs> Victoria is a town north of, uh, across the water from the Olympic Peninsula, in case you didn't know that. Oh, I see. Well, if we can get a translator on the line, I'm sure we can work out very fast. I mean French, sir, but I thought the Canadians spoke French. Miller dated a Canadian and she spoke French. Oh, I see. Well, I'll try that now. Uh, hello in there. Are you all right? Hello. Do you understand me? We come in peace. Me American. You Canadian. Friends. Sir, I think they're unhappy. What the hell? <laughs> Canadians and Americans speak the same language. Uh, that doesn't tell us a damn thing about this anomaly, though. I mean, what are we supposed to dedu deduce from that? It doesn't... Does it hurt us? Doesn't even seem to be harmful, as far as I can tell. Okay, so it's just a weird anomaly. What about this? That's a shaker. Is that a shaker too? Yeah, that's a shaker, okay. Um, well here, I want to get this car salvaged. Okay, I didn't fully get that car salvaged because my scrapper wore, wore out. Um, and I'm going to I'm going to carry some flares with me because I think Wait a minute. Oh, 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 shit. Let's go. I, why did my flare get destroyed? I thought it was relightable. It doesn't make sense. I gotta go. Okay, we don't have a storm, but we definitely have some weird shit going on. Uh, but I, I think what I want to do here is turn around and go the other way, because otherwise we'll be going way up north just to wrap back around again. In fact, we want to try and go down this hill just to get closer to the action. Actually, hold on. Let's look at it first before we just drive over the edge. Uh, yeah, I think we can do that okay. We can, later on, you know, we can get, like, off-road tires and stuff like that because it's in the thingy for us to research. Just want to be careful because we don't want to damage anything if we don't have to. Okay, let's stop here. any storms, like, bad storms coming in. And I need to make another scrapper too, by the way. Okay. 
Oh, and let's make another uh, light. Except for, again, I don't know... I don't know why that light destroyed. I thought we were supposed to be able to reuse it. That's why I'm a little confused. Oh, we need copper wire. Okay. Well, for now, I guess we'll just use normal flares. I already looted that. I wonder if we can um, use this on this door. No, I think it's a little too much for the impact hammer. What if we break this? What if we scan it? Logbook, broken keypad door. Recommend hands. <laughs> okay. Um. So, well, I guess that still stays in there. Oh, we need an electrician's kit to fix it. Oh. Okay. Well, I have one of those back at the base. So, good to know. I think that's... Oh, we just lost our flare. How do we... There is stuff to loot up there. How do we get up? Oh, we have to open the door first. Yeah, duh. Okay. Well, we'll have to come back here later. Except for we won't be able to because it won't exist later. It's a one and done thing, baby. Let's go. Okay, so just off to the south of us, the southeast, there is some more anchor power. over that. And we're gonna go over this way. Okay, before we loot that, um, didn't it show there was a point of interest around here, like over here maybe. What is this? Oh, it's a pneumatic deposit box. <clears throat> Can we put, like, loot in here and send it back? What is this? A dumpster pearl? Slice a pearl in half and you'll find thousands of layers of precious materials formed around a core. Break one of these apart and who knows what'll pop out. Alright, that's new. Take all this stuff. But I guess my question though is, can we, can we put stuff in here and send it back? Let's try it. Because remember, we have one of these at the station. Let's just put a rubber ducky in there. And then... How do we activate it? Rearrange, equip, sign, transfer. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to activate it. Maybe, maybe you, you can't do that. See, I, I would think this lever would be something, you know, we could do, but. 
Okay. I know there's a log entry for it too, but we'll read that later when we get caught up on stuff. I heard something go kerthumpity thump. Can we just, like, scan? I know this stuff hurts us, but can we scan it? No scan target. Okay. Oh! Damn. I just about ran into that can opener. Okay, we gotta go. Time to go. Okay, let's go. We have one more power thing to grab. over this way. Excuse me, tree. Yeah, we're heading right towards it. Um, let's stop here for a second. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna use this to save our impact hammer. Oh, at least there's light in here. That's good. Um. Okay, I guess that's it for containers. We can. Grab this. There's a nice jack there. Okay, so I guess that's it for here. Let's wander around the outside real quick. down to the anchor. Let's leave the car running. Those are those thingies that we'll read about here in a moment. really easy to hit the wrong thing there. Let's get up on the top of this little hill here so we can kind of see what's going on. Okay. Um, so we have three gateways to get out of here when the time comes. We've already been up there and looted this thingy. I don't think we've hit these two places or these two places. Uh, or even those. So yeah, let's go. Let's go over here first. We'll check this house. Doors open. Uh, you know what? Let's actually eat a couple of these because uh, we could top off our health just a smidge. All right. Um, backpack here. And a phone. basket.
and a dresser. Good. We need fabric to make more storage and stuff like that. So, and medical uh, bandages and whatnot. Metal kit, the first aid kit. I think that's just the sunset, maybe. This door was already open because we haven't been in here yet. Makes me wonder if there's something else in here. Like one of those creepy mannequins. Can we not get to that duffel bag? I guess not. Okay, that appears to be all that's lootable there. Outside. Not that I can tell. Alrighty then. So that takes care of these two buildings. Um, let's go over here. We'll, we'll park on this road and then we'll... I'm not sure if I hit all of those buildings. You go to the right here. So far we're doing a pretty good job of keeping our car from getting badly banged up. Tell you what though, that wasn't the case when I was um, off camera, you know, looting for a while. Oh, he says as he runs right into a freaking tree. <laughs> Alright, there's a car over there. I'm gonna go grab that real quick. Alright, we're gonna use our uh, this storage here because I have no more room for copper wire of course we can use that now to make another one of those lights but if they're just gonna be destroyed when they're run out what's the point we can just use a, uh, a normal I don't know did I ever scan these it's a bollard. That's what it's called. Okay. I still think it should be called a reverse pothole. Oh, storm. Storm, storm, storm. <clears throat> I I just had to say nothing was has been damaged in our car yet, right? Just had to say that. Oh, shit. <laughs> um... Okay, we got a loose wheel now. This is crazy. This is very crazy. I think the road's over this way. Not, not the. I don't know if that's going to help us though. Ah! Okay, are we a little bit better off on the road? No, we're not. Shit. Okay, let's just sit here because the storm is moving to the west away from us. <clears throat> okay, things are back to quote-unquote normal, whatever the hell that is in this game. All right. We've got some... Uh, we got some places we can loot back here. And more creepy mannequins, too. You guys stay there. Don't be moving behind my back. It's not allowed. It's nice and well lit in here. 
what? I swear. A workbench of some sort. That's not scrappable, unfortunately. Ice on the road. <laughs> uh, okay, I think that's it for in here. Wait, I guess we already checked that. What's this deal? Oh, this is one of them sodium vapor thingies. Uh, all right, let's go grab our hand vac. Are you guys staying put? You're not moving, are you? I don't trust them. So what we do here is we put the back in our hand and we go like this. It's kind of an interesting way to obtain those things. Oh, we got another uh, thingy here. With more pearls. Okay, we'll have to figure out what the hell those are all about. But it looks like we can just take things out of there, not put them in, I think. A pneumatic system, though. Goes both ways, so... Yeah, I don't know. Pneumatic tubes. Um... Oh, these are different size. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. I've got fire. Don't mess with me. You sneaky bastards. Okay. Let's use this. I just got a, a sleight of hand. Distract an anomaly with a light. Um, I don't know how I distracted an anomaly with this light, but... Apparently I did. Okay, cool. Some more chemicals. We need chemicals for for the repair putty. Now how in the hell did I do that? I opened that case through the door. And I got talents I not even I know about. I guess that's it for in here. They moved! I swear to God, those guys moved. Oh shit! Oh. <laughs> that was my, my flare breaking. Oh man. These guys were standing out onto the pavement. I swear they were. Were they? <laughs> I think I think I'm starting to go crazy, you guys. Well, they they said it was going to happen. Holy shit! <sighs> okay, let's go. Um. Yeah, that scared the bejeebus out of me. Let's look at this. Um, I think the only two places we haven't hit uh, are these two. And it looks like the train's fairly flat uh, to get over there. So let's do it. Let's put our lights on here. Well, okay. Sort of flat. Maybe if we go over this way. Yeah. Having a little bit of trouble getting traction here. Oh, you know what? We've got a, a loose wheel we have to fix, too. I'm sure this is not helping it. Okay, let's 
let's just stop right here. So we need a mechanics kit to fix that. Um, there we go. Again, it kind of goes back to knowing which button to push. Let's check this place out first. Pretty much, um, almost exactly the same as that other one we looked at. We'll have to break that open. Oh, that's one of those transmuter thingies. Okay, I don't really care about that. All right, let's break this. And we should be able to scrap these. Have I scanned these? I think so. Can't get that stuff up there. Okay. And then let's go check these pipes over here and then that place over there and then I'll think I think we'll be done with this zone not seeing anything significant there oh that thing just launched me in the air. How did my flare get all the way over this? Over here? Because I threw it that far, that's why. You just want to drop it in front of you, you just tap the button, not hold it like I was doing. We're learning, man. We will be a professional Pacific driver by the time we're done with this game. That's got to be broken. Uh, nothing in there. And I think that is... Do we look in here? Yeah. I think that's it. Flare is done. Oh, shit. There's that stuff. Okay. Where's our car? Over here. We're going to have to run through this. Can this launch us? There we go. Hey, look at that. We kind of got away from it for a second there. Alright, I think we're ready to go. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I didn't loot every single possible thing, but I think we made a good showing of ourselves. So, why don't we head towards this thingy, uh, but I want to be close to it before we activate it. As close to it as it'll let us get, anyway. Okay. Can we activate this now? Yeah, we can. All right. Let's do it. Did we just get hit by the can opener? Is that not paying attention? I don't know.
into the hot, fiery death. Nice. Okay. That was a pretty reasonably smooth mission, I think. I... I owe you an apology. You do? I screwed up. I nearly got you killed. The things I used to calculate as easily as turning a screwdriver, they're foggy now. The numbers don't work themselves out like they used to. I haven't been myself for a long time, but I haven't needed to be. It's been me and this cursed place I created and nothing else for decades. But now, knowing that whatever caused the mass hallucination is still out there, I need to know what it is and why the remnants are connected to it. Francis was right about the remnant and the mass hallucinations paired signals. If we can get them together, maybe they'll cancel each other out and you'll be free. It's a shaky theory at best, but it's the only lead we've got for now. You can do nothing and twiddle your thumbs until that remnant drives you mad. Or, if you're willing to work with me, I'll give you the best chance to survive this thing. Think it through. And fix up your car while you're doing it. You'll need to for whatever you decide from here. Stabilizing a way through. Okay, cool. So, it looks like we have a, a new objective which we will do in the next episode. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I'll get the car fixed up um, and, you know, just kind of do a couple things maybe around the base. And then in the next episode, we will um, make the the recycler thing and anything else we can make, you know, from the research with the power that we got. And then we'll go on this new mission. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. I'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.